Yo, what up everyone? It's Tyranitar Tube, and I'm gonna show you guys how to shiny hunt in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, there's a new battle style introduced in Sun and Moon called SOS Battles. It replaces Horde Battles, it replaces Triple Battles, and all of that. And the way it works is you'll run into an encounter, and the Pokemon will get weak, get scared, and then call for help. It'll turn into a 2v1 battle. You have to verse Pikachu and its friend. This feature is so interesting because as you play more and more, you start to realize you can do some cool things with this feature. I've seen a Metapod trying to call for a Caterpie, a Magikarp trying to call for a Gyarados. I don't know if you guys know this, but in the beginning of the game, you you can torture a Bagon enough to make it call for like a level 9 Salamence. I'm not lying, I'll show you a screenshot if I can. But anyways, in SOS Battles, if you knock out Pokemon and force it to call other Pokemon, over time you'll notice that the Pokemon start to get stronger. 10 knockouts later, you're starting to get Pokemon with perfect IVs. This is because when you enter an SOS Battle and you have Pokemon call for its friends, you're actually creating a chain. Let's use Bagon here as an example. If Bagon calls for another Bagon, that is a plus one to its chain. 10 Bagons later, it's a chain of 10. This chain caps at 40 and when you make it to a chain of 40 you're gonna find pokemon with like four perfect ivs but people have reported upon trying to get these perfect iv pokemon is that they're running into shiny pokemon so i've gone ahead and spent a few hours testing it out and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it yourself so you're gonna need three things the first thing you can get at any pokemon center it's called an adrenaline orb you only have to use this orb once per battle but what it does is increase the likelihood in general of pokemon calling for another pokemon the second thing is a pokemon with either intimidate pressure or unnerve as its ability i know it's pretty specific but these three abilities in particular actually have the same effect as an adrenaline orb you can stack them together and by having this pokemon in the front you can really increase those odds and now the third thing you're gonna need is a pokemon that can hunt you really need to make a pokemon that can hunt for you you're gonna save like hours if you want to go a quick route catch a pokemon like absol it can learn false swipe it can learn thunder wave you can catch it on the third island and on top of that its ability is pressure you get all three in one i want to point out that don't use that thunder wave if you're trying to sos hunt because a pokemon just won't call if it's paralyzed. Trust me, I know I stopped it for like 20 turns. The only thing this Absol wouldn't work on is ghost type Pokemon. And if you want to get around that, you can create the ultimate catcher with the Smeargle. You can get a Smeargle which knows both False Swipe and Soak so you can hit any Pokemon. You guys have said to even give it Recover and Recycle so that it can just stay in battle for as long as it wants. But yeah, once you've got all that, you are done. Now you can just hunt Pokemon whenever you want. So pick a target, find a Pokemon you can find in the wild. Hopefully it can call other Pokemon and it's time to hunt. Okay, so the Pokemon I decided to shiny hunt was Bagon. And I was not trying to shiny hunt it, I was trying to get a Salamence to actually show you. So on your first turn, you're going to want to go into your bag and use that Adrenaline Orb. You can only use it once per battle, like I said before. But the trick in this is that you can use it again to just stall a turn. And it won't even use the item up. The second thing you want to do is bring this Pokemon's HP down so that it really wants to call for help. This is important because some Pokemon will call at full HP. But some Pokemon like Tauros and Delmize call at like super red HP. Sometimes it can be hard to bring it down to that red zone. That's why I want that hunting Pokemon. Once its HP is down to red, this Pokemon... Pokemon is scared for its life and all you have to do is make sure the Pokemon with one of those three abilities is in the front. You're gonna notice that this Pokemon is gonna constantly call for its friend. You need to kill that friend and the more of its friend you kill, the higher up the chain you are. You kill 20 friends, you got a chain of 20. To answer a major question, some of these SOS battles, a Pokemon will call another Pokemon. Don't worry about that. That's not gonna break your chain or anything. But one thing you're gonna have to remember is that you might want to get to a chain of 30 or 40 but this Pokemon is gonna run out of PP soon and struggle. For that, every now and then you're gonna have to swap between Pokemon, and when you do this, just make sure the Pokemon you're swapping between is the same Pokemon. Don't be hunting a shiny Marini and then suddenly swap to a Corsola, it's not gonna work. But seriously guys, this chain is not tough. Just stick to a Pokemon, keep killing its friends, and if you need to swap over, make sure you switch over to the same Pokemon. So yeah guys, that is shiny hunting in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Some people say they get it at like 4, some people 10, 40, but I got this Bagon at around 55. Yes, it's somehow easier to get a shiny Bagon than a Salamence level 9. Go get it right now. It's in the beginning of the game. Go to that grass, find your Bagon. I can't guarantee it because it's not a guaranteeable odds. I can't say within 100 encounters you're going to get it, but it really does seem super possible to get it. I was working on another video, and I'm fishing here on the final island for Delmize. And what do you think is going to happen? You can figure it out. A Pokemon like Delmize is a lot harder to hunt than a Pokemon like Wishiwashi, which begs for help. Like, every turn you'll see it calling for help. This is the most recent shiny I found on a different save file, and I'll show you the process I did. You go to the location where your Pokemon is found, and then you finally encounter it. On the first turn of battle, you use the Adrenaline Orb, you bring its HP down as low as you can, and you force it to start calling Pokemon. Notice my Absol's in the front. It has both False Swipe and it has Pressure, but I can't freaking hit Delmize because it's a Ghost-type, so I struggled with this one, having to have to 
switch into different Pokemon to damage it. I'm sitting here for about two hours, but it takes about eight minutes for a Delmise to call another Delmise. Half of the time it fails, and this thing really needs to be brought down to red. Sun and Moon are still new games, so no one's come up with the rarity of how often a Pokemon will call for help. Like with Delmise calling for another, or Bagon calling for a Salamence. But with due time, we'll get it. But yeah, I'm torturing this Delmise, and after about two hours, it calls that red shiny. Dude, this is like the red Gyarados. So yeah, guys, that should be some inspiration for you to shiny hunt. And if it's not, take a look at this, where this very Delmise uses struggle. Because I ran out of balls. And yeah, it kills itself. Yeah, I ran out of balls. So now laugh at my pain and you get the shiny, alright? Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. There's monster hunting. There's a few top fives I want to do on Sun and Moon. Let me know in the comments below. But as always, guys, I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.